Good evening. My name is Ryan Wood and I'm the principal at RJC High School. Thank you so much for joining us, whether in person or via live stream. Thank you for supporting and celebrating our students and our arts program at RJC High School. You are in for a great show. Tonight's concert uh, will feature our concert choir, which is our school choir. It will feature our concert band, which is composed of students from our band's 10, 20, and 30 class. And we'll also feature our singers, our extracurricular choir, who fairly recently returned from their Alberta tour where they were at Contando. Um, students, along with our music director and teacher, Kaylee Skomorowski, have been working very hard all year, both in and outside of the classroom, and we are excited to celebrate the fruits of their labor tonight. I've heard them rehearsing, and I know we're in for a great show. Alongside tonight's concert, please take a moment to visit the artwork uh, display on the side of the auditorium, which features select work from several of our arts electives that we offer at RJC. The theater arts class is featuring some costume designs and set pieces they've been working on. Our construction and carpentry class uh, has a few students featuring some student-made electric guitars, super cool, along with a ukulele, which is handmade. We featured uh, one of our new bleachers, which we use on our soccer pitch that was made by our uh, practical and applied art students. And finally, there's some pastel and crayon drawings um, from our art students. Thank you so much to our students for all their great work and to our teachers, Zach, Mika, and Adam for showing artistic leadership and giving these students chances to explore these God-given talents and gifts. At RJC, we do seek to teach the whole child and give our students experiences that can last a lifetime. What an opportunity to be able to sing and play music with your classmates and friends. What an opportunity to work with your hands, your head and your heart, to build and to make art together. Thank you for your support of our students and our arts and applied arts programs at RJC. We can't do it without you. Thank you. It's amazing to see what these young people can do when they are given a chance to succeed. Let's celebrate their efforts tonight. So welcome, enjoy the show, and it's my pleasure to introduce to you the RJC Concert Choir. Good evening everyone, my name is Mia. And my name is Peyton. We are both grade 11 students here at RJC. The first piece we're gonna be singing tonight is Bring Me Little Water, so. It is written in the style of African American spirituals by Hadi W. Ledbetter and arranged by Moira Smiley. The story behind the song is about a little girl named Sylvie. She's very small and can't do much to help out around her village, but she can bring water, and bringing water is one of the most important jobs. Our student body has worked exceptionally hard to get this song ready to perform. We really hope you enjoy listening to it as much as we enjoy singing it.
Hi, I'm Piper. Um, the next piece we'll be singing is called You'll Be Found. It was originally written by Ben Pasek and Justin Paul in 2015, but made its debut in the Broadway musical Dear Evan Hansen in 2016. The song speaks about how no matter what, you'll be found and somebody is always listening in there for you in times of struggle. Today the solos you'll be hearing are sung by Brayden Martin Spunk, Alex Harder, and Natalia Fowler. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear?
Hello. Today we will be singing All Too Soon, which is a traditional Nova Scotia song arranged by Stephen Hatfield. The song is about families who have lived close to the land for generations, but are now separated by the living, leaving of young people who must head to the big cities for work or university. I like this song because it goes to show how hard this choir has worked to make it sound better each time we have sung this to an audience. I'm Sky Duick, and thank you for supporting RJC tonight.
Jessica. I'm a teacher here at RJC. I just want to take some time to share a bit about two of our art selectives. One is drama, which is not offered this semester, and one is theater arts, which is. So both are theater-based classes. However, drama is a performance-based class, and theater arts is design-based. So last semester, they had the chance to experience what it's like to prepare for and set up a performance on stage. Whereas this semester, we have gone through different elements of theater design, such as costuming, makeup, um, props, stage, lighting, and they get to, well, they don't get to, they have to. Uh, <laughs> they have to go through the process of designing those elements based on a story that has to take place on stage. So our final project, what we're working towards, is really providing support for the year-end musical, and that allows them to practice their new skills and to see their work on stage in an actual stage performance. Um, so I would encourage you, if you haven't already, take a look at some of the designs that are on the table along the wall, along with all the other beautiful pieces of art that our students have made this semester. I'm not that much taller than Mika. I'm Zach. Uh, I get the privilege of teaching the construction and carpentry class, as well as the practical applied arts. Is there something going on? Wow. Wow. Well, they've just upstaged me. That's okay. Uh, no, I get to teach the construction, carpentry, and practical applied arts classes here. Uh, you'll see some of our works at the side, uh, benches that help our sports teams uh, feel a little more comfortable, uh, and to also feel like they have sort of a professional type of space to come back to as their bench. Um, the other thing I like to focus on is, is the art of building things. Uh, not everyone can draw. I, and one of those is my grade 9 art teacher will, will attest uh, that might have been the worst mark of my grade 9 here. And I'm still having flashbacks. No, it's okay. Because uh, everyone can do art in some way. That's, that's what I really believe. Um, I love music and I love working with my hands. And so a particular interest that I've had is to learn to build instruments. Uh, I enjoy building guitars and ukuleles and banjos and things like that. And I've been lucky enough that I've had a few students who have also been interested in that. And I would love it if you'd check out their work. Uh, it's pretty incredible um, that students can build that in our shop, our humble little shop here at RJC. Um, yeah, I'd really encourage you to take a look at that. We also have some cutting boards. Um, you might think a cutting board is just a bunch of pieces of wood glued together and you'd be right. Uh, but I think there's a real art to it as well. Uh, you can tell that some of our students have spent a lot of time choosing patterns and choosing species of wood and learning about uh, those different species and figuring something out that will be strong, durable and is, I dare say, aesthetically pleasing. Um, so yeah, very, very cool that we can do this and I've been uh, yeah, just amazed at the things that students have been able to do. Hello there. You didn't know we taught magic here too, hey? Uh, so the band that magically, the group that magically appeared before you is the um, RJC Concert Band. Uh, so this is a curricular course which is made up of the students that are, choose the elective. I was going to say adventurous enough to choose the elective. Um, but it's been an adventure. It's been fun. Uh, this, these students are a mix of students who have played these instruments before and some of them are just learning their instruments for the first time this semester. Uh, so we've had some fantastic mentorship uh, that has come out of that. So uh, super grateful to the students that we have that have been willing to help and aid with those students who are just undergoing their instrumental journey for the first time. And uh, I'll call up Eva to introduce our first piece. I think she has something prepared. My name is Ava, I'm in grade 11, and I play trumpet in the concert band. Uh, the first song we will be performing for you tonight is called March of the Irish Guard. This melody was originally entitled The Boys of Wexford. It refers to the defenders of the city and county of Wexford on Ireland's southeast coast. Oliver Cromwell inflicted heavy destruction and loss of life on the city in the mid-17th century, 
Marching songs were used to direct troops on long journeys and maintain morals. Learning a march in concert band is about equivalent to learning Shakespeare in English class. Marches are very important in band culture. This arrangement is created by James D. Ployher, who was born in Valley City, North Dakota. He has published over 200 compositions and arrangements and has had his work performed throughout the United States and Canada. I lied to you all. We're just going to play a quick warm-up chorale before we play that great piece that Ava wrote that really great novel about. So, a chorale first and then the march. and I play alto saxophone and I'm a grade 11 student here at RJC. Shadows Unleashed, the song we're going to be playing, is composed by Brian Balmages and paints a picture of shadows moving in and out of darkness as they carry on a dance. It is a rather playful piece, yet at other times it takes on a more sinister character. 
I have always had a strong passion for music, and since joining the band last semester, I have a new sense of determination and patience watching my classmates and I grow in our music abilities. and I'm in grade 12 and play the tuba in the band. Our next piece is called Chasing Sunlight, composed by Kate Nish Nisha Mira, and it was inspired by the experience of driving west into the sunset as if trying to catch up and catch as much sun as she could. I love this song. It's just so tender and beautiful, and I feel a con connection to it from my heart because I'm moving far east for school next year, and I'm chasing every moment, every moment as the sun sets on my time at RJC. I hope you all enjoy this piece as much as I do.
now it's going to be chaos behind the curtain. Good evening, everyone. Thanks once again for joining us today. My name is Alex Thiessen. I'm the Director of Admissions and Development here at RJC High School. I'm here tonight to offer words of thanks. And I've thought a bit about ways in which I have felt grateful for RJC and the people who are here, the students, the staff, and of course you, the community. As I'm watching this program tonight, I'm immensely grateful for the Music and Arts program at RJC. And I look around the room and I see the stuff at the, the projects on the wall, and I see the performances of our students, and it brings me immense joy. I'm grateful for Kaylee Brock and the countless hours of other staff who put in time to ensure that our students have a wide breadth of experience performing, learning, and collaborating with other musicians, and to grow as musicians themselves. I'm grateful for the ways in which student, students are involved in our program that allows us to have a concert choir, our singer's choir, jazz and concert band, and prepare every year for an annual musical. I've had the privilege of traveling with the RGC singers on a number of occasions to churches, and I was also part of, uh, part of uh, taking the students to Alberta for, as part of their music education tour, which, uh, where we visited Calgary and Edmonton to visit a constituency church and tour the Studio Bell National Music Center, the Contando Music Festival, and gave our students the opportunity to sing in a mass choir of over 700 singers performing at the Windspear Center in Edmonton. It was pretty fantastic. I'm grateful that our students have the opportunity to have these experiences. And I'm also grateful for you, the community, for the support you show our students on countless occasions, and in particular tonight. I want to thank you for the financial gifts you've entrusted upon your arrival here. Events like this can't just happen, and our programs can't just happen. We need the support of the community to do these things. So if you have not yet done so and you'd like to make a donation today, you can do so by following the information in your program, or uh, if tonight is not the night, you're, you're welcome to contact me and call me and say, hey Alex, I'm gonna give you some money. I'd welcome that as well. We appreciate your presence here tonight and the many ways in which you so support in different ways. I'd invite you to join us for prayer as we uh, offer a word of gratitude. Generous God, you call us to let go of the things we cling to and step out in faith, trusting in your love and provision. Thank you for the many ways in which you have entrusted many things to us. Within the RGC community, our students, our parents, alumni, community members, and the church, that we will do what we have been called to. Give us courage this season to step out boldly, and may we act, and may this act of giving be a gesture of our willingness to follow where you lead. Take these gifts today as we entrust them to do the, and accomplish many things through your will. Amen. So the final group in our program is the RJC Singers. Uh, so the singers are, as um, Alex alluded to, an extracurricular group. Um, so these are children who choose to spend more time singing um, and coincidentally that means spending time with me. And we haven't killed each other yet, so I think it was a very successful season. Um, though I can't say there weren't days that we were all tested. Um, so yes, and I'll have, I think Rachel is introducing our first piece. Hello again, did you miss me? <laughs> Anton Bruckner composed our next piece called Locus Iste back in the 1800s. This piece is in Latin, but translate to, this place was made by God, a priceless holy place. It is without fault. It is a beautiful song, and I think it reminds us that all the beauty around us was created by God, and he makes it flawless. Enjoy.
singers. Our next song tonight is called Sarah. So if your name is Sarah, this goes out to you. Uh, just kidding, I don't think that's accurate. Anyways, this song was arranged by Jonathan Quick. This is a traditional Newfoundland folk song and we have a lot of fun singing it. Uh, there's a solo that might catch you off guard performed by Joaquin Harris. Um, with all that said, I hope you enjoy. of our students, 
so that they may discover their gifts and feel empowered as leaders, both here at school and in the community. As we have seen tonight, choir, band, construction and carpentry, theater arts, and visual arts are some of the ways in which we strive to realize this purpose. Through your presence, engagement, and applause, you have demonstrated your support for our students' success. Please join me in giving another hand to our amazing students today. With our program coming to a close, there are several people that I would like to thank. Thank you to Richard, Mel, Chantel, and others who helped prepare this space where we could gather. Thank you to Alex, Zach, and Myrna for looking after technical and organizational details related to the concert. And thank you to Brock and Kaylee for providing musical leadership here at school. I'd also like to draw your attention to the bottom of the program, which lists several upcoming RJC events. First, please join us on June 22nd, 23rd, 24th, or maybe all three of those nights as we present All Shook Up, RJC's annual musical. Can't help but falling in love with the unbelievable performances by our students on stage here in for a treat. As well, we hope that you'll help us in congratulating RJC's class of 2023 at our baccalaureate service and graduation exercises on June 25th. Please join me in a closing blessing before we invite the RJC singers to share the final piece of the evening. May God bless you and keep you. May the very face of God shine on you and be gracious to you. May God's presence embrace you and give you peace. Amen. Um, I just wanted to take a moment to um, echo um, David's uh, gratitude and thanks to all of you. Um, particularly to the students behind me and um, those sitting in the back there. You're not on your phones either, it's amazing. I've only said it 750 times this year. Um, thank you for uh, giving your all in every rehearsal. Uh, thank you for uh, making yourselves vulnerable um, in this space and uh, sharing your voice, sharing your gifts, sharing your talents. And, and thank you parents um, and key members for supporting them in their artistic endeavors. Uh, to sing together in a room is a lot of fun, um, but it's even more enjoyable when we have an audience to share that love um, of music and that love of each other and of this community um, with each other. So thank you uh, so much for being here. It's so lovely to sing for you tonight. And I'll let uh, Cheyenne introduce our last song. Hi, I'm Cheyenne, a grade 11 student here at RJC. For our final performance, we'll be performing Don't Be Afraid, composed by Allison Ray and arranged by Jennifer McMillian featuring a solo son by fellow student and friend, Ariel Perot. The message of Don't Be Afraid came from Scott Jones, who was left paralyzed after being attacked in his home in Glasgow, Nova Scotia, because of his sexual identity. Instead of being submerged with fear, he transformed it into a strong message. This song reinforces the fact that as long as we have each other, there's nothing to be afraid of. 